Hey everyone, FPS Chazzle here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dangerous Waters plus RA 1.40. We got our lot of quick mission going on here. We got Torp pinging, pinging off to this way. So I think I made a course change to running a little more perpendicular to this guy. Try and get out of his line of fire here, line of sight. We just dropped some countermeasures. So we should be good on that front. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm loading up a passive. Steer course two nine three. Guess I might as well. I'm running. I'm running. Starting to get a little down there, low in the t in the the countermeasures there, but that's fine. Let's get a little. Can we get a little deeper? I mean, of course we can always get a little deeper, but the question is, is it going to make a difference? I ordered a depth decrease, did I? Oh, I, c I should be able just to look here and see what my order depth is, right? Maybe not depth ordered. Uh, that's not right. <laughs> it's not showing it. Okay, we're gonna. I'm just gonna go down to five zero meters here. That'll still get us about eh, twenty seven feet clearance from the bottom there. Control I. Still just kind of the way I think. It's like a key. It's like a vertical dimension length on the uh, the sub there. So we got our history. We've been running good. We're getting out of our freaking launch element here. We got two of these loaded up if we need them. Probably will be trying to use those squalls. UGSTs just lost the pings. Maybe we're out of sight of this guy now. Uh, let's say you want, let's go ahead with a solid 40 knots here. Not sure if it's even worth it to try and figure this out. Well, yeah, it kind of makes sense if they're all kind of you know pointing towards my way, <laughs> wouldn't it? Those last two are kind of the tricky ones. I'm not hearing the pings anymore, so I'm thinking it's going more the other way. That way. That away. It could possibly be that far away. Hard to say for certain. But we're gonna keep clearing out to this to this direction here. Maybe a little bit more. Left, steer course two. See, I'm in a disadvantage Six, now because I'm going eight. up against SSKs that could potentially have also quick reload times. So they're kind of just sitting there, and I'm kind of just here, not being able to do anything, just making noise. So let's try Engines and slow down. One third, steering guy. I have a better sense now for the noise two, potential eight, of the six. SS of the Lada here because I've someone sent me a frequency sheet. P7, P8 is what he goes by on subsim. And not a frequency sheet, but like a sound sheet that shows what kind of sound the boats put out. Control acoustics. New contact. And, uh, Bearing one five eight. Designated one, five, Sierra eight. one four. Okay, it's a little closer in, but I don't think it's heading my way. Hard to say. I could have found that active countermeasure potentially. It's hard to say for Sweden. But yeah, the Lotto is pretty quiet. The Lotto is a quiet torp. So that guy is heading into our baffles now. It looks like closest approach may have passed. This seems to be curving up straightwards. Um, any sign of any other subs in the area? I'm not sure. I don't have a better time interval for this. Kind of want to keep boogieing a little bit here. Let's keep doing Engines it. Engines ahead, standard steering guy. I'm gonna go ahead and Ruder do this. Left, steer course two six nine steering guy. Because it's now down this way, down that way, Sierra fourteen. But I think we I think we dodged a literal bullet here with this bad boy. I think that's the torp down there. Even that might have been when it was launched. Okay, now we're losing it in our acuity here. Let's just do two Engines thirds for the time two being. Thirds. Steering guy. So up to seven or eight knots, you know, I'm really not making too much noise. Steer but then it starts kind of going up six, pretty quick. Nine. At around seven or eight knots is actually when, at the same speed for Virginia, is when the Lotta starts getting kind of quieter than, or louder than the Virginia. Yeah, this guy's going right by. Not a problem. Okay. Yeah, he's zipping, zipping on by. Hitting the countermeasure field now. Hope he doesn't. Let's turn south. Ruder left, I want to keep him course, two, where I can one, see him. Eight. Steering guy. So let's turn south in case this guy reacquires. I don't think he will. I don't think he will. So I think we can finally calm down here and try and get back into this mission. Oh, which could take a while. We're rather out of position here. Everyone seemed to be kind of around here. Okay, there goes Sierra 14. Uh, 
what's it doing? What's it doing? It's hard to look at the time interval because it's just it's coming up right against the baffles there, and there was a we had some, a little bit of washout going on there. Ooh, the countermeasure is gone. We're not hearing any pings. This is starting to distant. This is starting to kind of straighten out a little bit. CR thirteen. The range on this two, might be a little. One, eight. Well, we haven't gotten okay. So this is dubious. We haven't gotten pings in a while. What's CR CR fourteen is what we want to look at here. Speed. Let's go ahead and say forty. Course somewhere this way. One of those dots is still kind of missing. Which oh, was Sarah, Sarah 14? Okay, yeah, that seems. De okay, and it just, just ran out of fuel, so all I had one Engines third. Ahead one third, steering guy. And we can go ahead and start letting out some toad now. Let us get. So we're going to make turns for six knots. We're going to stay. Try and take advantage of our speed here. Uh, we, we are very much quiet at six knots, especially against the enemies we are going against. They haven't a clue where I am now. They cannot hear me worth a damn at this speed. We are we are ghosts at this speed in the lotta. Up to ten up to ten knots, they probably honestly still can't really hear me. Our opponents are not. They're so we are vastly superior to our opponents. So at even at 10 knots speed, we should be pretty pretty undetectable, but we're going to hang around here at 6 knots, 6 or 7 knots here, trying to expedite getting back into position a little bit. So these can go away. We dodged it and ran out of fuel. They don't have very advanced torpedoes either. We're going to be using standoff weapons, so I'm going to load some up here as well. We're going to be using these. How many of these do I have in the stools? Only one in the store, so it's kind of gonna it's gonna freak out right now with me trying to load this up. So we're just gonna keep this as a squall. Oh, what was I thinking when I chose these weapons? I don't know. Why do I have a mine? Why did I keep the mine? Oh, well, now's not the time to bicker. But at least I didn't pack any SSMs. <laughs> that would have been the waste. I could have gotten rid of yeah, whatever. It's fine. Uh. Could have gotten rid of those U sets. Okay, so let's move back into position here. Uh, ooh, we don't want that much out. It shouldn't be dragging. We we have a decent amount of speed on us here. It is dragging. That's fine. Uh, DTA. I don't think we have a total ray depth on this bad boy here. South center is good. That works for me. Uh, we're gonna do about two two zero meters here. That should be fine. Uh, we might. I want to stay in deep deepness. I want to head towards deepness. Kind of concerning coming across back to the east. But let's go this way. This I think seems good. Uh, yeah, get up to that two two zero. This right here is good. That should be pretty good on the acuity front. Okay, what do we got? Oiler. We're looking for 60.265 or 50.250. And then 340 is our fourth frequency that we wish. That is not 340. This seems kind of noisy, but that's fine. We're in kind of a... Okay, we're heading for deep. Bear that in mind, we're heading for deep. Let's go to 5.5 five meters. That may help gain a little bit of acuity here. Go to depth zero. Since five, we're at this, we're at such a, a, a separate, <laughs> we're at such a speed that the toad, we don't really have to worry about it hitting the bottom at this rate. So we should be. Let's go to seven knots. Seven Zip knots. Revolutions for seven let's knots. Start Propulsion looking. Eye. Start looking. Uh, yeah, we don't want anything with the second frequency of that. Our second frequency is two sixties. That's what we want. Like right here. Hello. Let's go ahead and get a mark on this. We only have two trackers, so we have to be more patient with who we're going after here. So this right here is our... Control acoustics. This is New our main mod. One, seven, six. Designated Sierra. I think one, the Sierra 1-6 is going to be the... I think this is where it was before for our Ming mod. I think that's what we're looking for. So the only problem with the with the missile launch is that everyone hears it 
that undersea missile launch. I changed you to Squall, dude. What are you doing? Changed you to Squall. It was saying Squall before. Didn't I have one more on stowed on the rack? Okay, this isn't going to work. I'll just do empty for the time being. I need to figure out what I'm doing with working with here. So, yeah. Because this should have wrapped up by now. Alrighty. But we can go ahead and uh, we're turning. Our, did we not do a turn? No, we did not do a turn. Let's go ahead and turn to the west a little. Rudder right steer course two, four, five, steering guide. And then we'll be able to uh, figure out who the reciprocal is. I'm pretty sure the contact to the south is the one we care about. Pretty sure that's our guy to the south here. Pretty sure. Gotta keep a vigilant eye on that. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, that, that might be our oiler friend. Steer course two, four, five. What is this? Yeah, this is our... Mm, we just lost it. Or just decreased in strength, at least. Nothing we care about. It's fine. Uh, do 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 Toad is starting to turn. There's your falsy. Let's go ahead and get this guy classified up as our Ming Mod. Now we want subs. Sub, 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 Marian. Ming Mod, confidence high, hostile. Our uh, kind of Romeo looking guy here. Okay, Toad is straightening very well. We have some contact on the broadband. We're seeing some stuff on the broadband there. That's a 50. Don't think, I don't know what that is. A 50. We found our 50 boat. Where did it get off to? What's the bearing? 166. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. There's our 50 boat. And here's a 60 boat. Here's another bad boy right here. Uh, so the pro if you want to go after two contacts, you don't have enough trackers to do that. Because if I go after two contacts, I'm going to lose the tracker on our friend here, the Ming Mod. So it'd be nice to freaking try and get some data on him first. Yeah, there's our 6260. Decent signal strength as well on this on this guy here. So that's another one. Is there anything else that we that we need to pop up here? There's another 50 that we don't. Oh no, here's another. So here's our other guy. So either kind of east southeast, or almost due north. So I'm gonna say. So we got someone over here. I think we saw that guy before. There's a potential sub in that area over there. And then we had where was it? it was around over this way, wasn't it? Yeah. Our other guy kinda off to the south here. Or what what one five seven. So there's someone else that's seemingly here. Or they would be like uh like very northwest of us. Three three three. Seemingly like up here this way. I don't think there's anyone north of us. So I think all our subs are kind of, and this guy could potentially even be somewhere else. But I think I think no. Well, we saw that. That's that wasn't a reciprocal. This this is someone here. So our three subs are in this vicinity over here, this moon vicinity. So we need to turn south to get closer to them. Let us turn south. Ruder left, Kinda steer course one two, one, zero, steering guy. Let's see, CR-16. Let's start checking out some data on this guy. Ooh, we got ourselves a nice lead lag going here. Uh, let me get my frequency sheet. I need to see what kind of, uh, what kind of TPK we're talking here. What kind of TPK are we talking for our Ming mod? Uh, looks like 10. Yeah, TPK-10 on our Ming mod here. Uh, what about our others that we're looking for? Daf. Nay is 10. They should all be 10. It should be like when critics rate Call of Duty. It should be 10. 10. It's all 10. Yeah, it's all 10 across the board there on our TPK. Oh, but we don't have them on the broadband, so what am I getting all in a tizzy about? Don't even have them on the broadband. 
Okay. Oh, well, that, we don't need him on the broadband. I'm not trying to get Demon Dad. I'm just trying to get a course for him. Steer course oh, well, two, let's one, just go ahead zero. and assume a, a speed of maybe five knots here. See what that gets us. Of course, it's hard to tell. Uh, ooh, mm, e, mm, at, e. Hmm. I don't think so, but you never know. I don't think we are seeing him on the... Yeah, this, these are very faint signals. No, that's that's not our Ming Mod. Here's our Ming Mod right here. Ming Mod. Bearing is now 152. 152. I don't have the right bearing in here at all. Oh, well, I'm, I haven't been getting much solid data on this. Sheet. Been maneuvering too much. We're going to have to wait for this to kind of chill for a second. It might be further south. Doing more easterly. Who knows? Anything's possible. Okay, so now we supposedly have a squall back in here. Okay, it was getting stuck in, like, limbo. That's interesting. But yeah, so we still have a squall. Still have our knife fight. We still have UGSTs. And we still have Sizzlers. We have lots of UGSTs. They will be fine against diesel electrics. They don't have a very high top speed. Like this guy, 15 knots surface. Why would you not give the submerged speed? Okay, 20 knots. Basically me. So it's not outrunning any UGST anytime soon. If we get in closer, you know, you can always start lighting off pings. I was considering it. But I figured at the tail end of that chase, it was a little too late for that. I didn't think it was worth it. Because we were just starting to get back in. Why does this always happen? I did not tell you to go to that corner FPS counter. Thank you. Huh. I, I didn't think it was that worth it late. We were just, you know, getting breaking contact. They weren't seeing us anymore. So I thought it was worth it to not light off the ping and be a little patient there. Try and bide our time, hedge our bets, get back, work back in, do it right, get some solutions going. I want to try and get a, a good solution for this guy before I go ahead and start working on other tracks. We could potentially even launch on his direction. The bearing rate is changing pretty well. We need to wait till we straighten out here and get some better toad data. Get some better toad data on him. No, we don't care about that. We want our Ming Mod. Ming Mod. Ming Mod. Peak signal strength right around here on 148. That's a pretty decent bearing rate. But my solution keeps messing up. 148 is what we want. Or something. Like I said, we need to get some better data. I'm not getting good data right now. I think I dropped all contacts, so we're working with fret work and fresh, fresh contact. And we need to get some data. Well, the toad all straightened out. Yeah, let's go ahead and lapse a little time here. Lapse a little time. Get some more data. Ooh, okay, interesting. Seems to be, seems to have changed course. Seems to have changed course, seemingly right for me, which does not help my solution making process. As of late, as of right now, does not help my solution making process. Water's getting deeper, we're heading for deeper water. Let us get deeper. Let's uh, drop another five meters here. <clears throat> Go to depth zero six zero meters. Depth control I. I just updated my Adobe Premiere Pro, and for some reason it's not reading Fraps AVI files anymore. So now I gotta convert them before I import to Premiere, and that's annoying. I've been trying to look. Apparently, you can convert between AVI and MP4 really quickly with some kind of like converting just the, the the bin that the that the video file sits in but i haven't had any luck with that so far i need to look into that more because it's just a, a huge waste of time to have to convert these files to bring them into premiere just to have to convert it again to my final video <sighs> so whoa hello um whatever this guy's doing he really juiced it up pretty pretty good there not even seeing anything on broadband <clears throat> that's kind of hard to pass up 
Uh, well, we know we know what bearing he's on, so mark it. We can be getting data on that. I wasn't even thinking about that. Control acoustics. New contact. So we can be getting bearing. data on One, the schmuck. Four, nine. Designated on the schmuck. One, seven. Just three lines, though. Now there's a fourth. No, there is another. Yeah, this is our Daphne, all right. Okay. Uh, what is that? Sarah 17, is that our Daphne? Can see him on here. Let's go ahead and mark him here. Getting demon on him. What the hell? Oh, here, come back down to 10. Nine knots. What? Four knots? Five knots? Oh, change the frequency, dude. Ten knots. Ten knots on CR-17. Ten knots. Don't know what he's doing. Making a whole hell of a lot of noise. But that's fine. He's making a lot of noise. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching, everyone. We're getting a grasp of the situation again. And uh, next time, I expect we shall be doing some firing and then taking this mission back into victorious hands. So see you guys then. Have a good one. And as always, good hunting.